Welcome back everyone to Old Rule Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Michael Lover. And right now, it is December 23rd, 2278. Quite a few days, weeks, months since we last met each other, but here are the casualties. We've lost less than a thousand. Versus, well, almost roughly, well, 12,000 you could say, I suppose. And right now, we are just about to beat him up and take over Concord. I stopped before we went too much further just because I wanted to show you... Well, the stats under generals. The commanding officer, Kai Z Lin. Well, she's looking pretty good with five skill five attack, level five as well, skill five. Kai oh, Gao Long is looking pretty good as well as Kai Z Ling. So, and if I got a lot of upgrades too, we got uh, the White Tigress here. We've got Kai Gao Long. We have also have Kai Z Ling and Kai Zong Zan. In addition, we already have outside non outside battalions or outside battalions. We've got military academy training. We can only get 2.43 political power a day just because we're not doing a focus. We've also got Kai Li Song more, for more political power and Kai Zi Zin for even more political power. And Tulchinsky Engineering, we're in a well equipped army. Hope you guys are having a good day. We've got a couple comms to go through as well. And I think I'm mobilized. Yeah, I went up to one more mobilization level for two year conscription. But let's finish this war, shall we? We shall. Actually, Kai here, Kai Gao Long, do you have anything for us? No, not really. And you can see both the field marshal as well as this general have urban assault specialists, even though this person was learning 71% of the way there. So, yeah, it was a long time just trying to beat these people up. It took a lot longer than I thought it would, but hey, what is done is done, and that just made our generals extremely strong. But thank you very much. Oh, no, I'd like San Francisco back. It was burning and looting last time. So, finally, we can hopefully do another focus. Oh, please let us do that. Oh, Fall of Concord. The city of Concord burns into the victorious armies of mercenaries hired by the Ka clan now marching into the city, facing the last few remnants of the fierce resistance that the neo commons are still able to muster. Both reports suggesting that their leader Xi'an has been wounded in combat, and his currently incapacitated now causing the neo commies to lose much of their fervor and they'll likely soon stand down, the Golden Dragon rises, fall San Fran. As the last remains of Dr. Liang Xi's guards fights to the death, much of San Francisco and the Steel Palace are now within the hands and firm control of the Kai clan, while the neo communists still hold down Concord. Not for long, though. The question now lies, will they be able to defeat the Kai clan, the Golden Dragon rises, and the end of the war? So the war is over. Now that both the neo commies and Liang supporters have been dealt with, we can claim a rightful place as rulers of the Xi. No longer will we bow to the mysterious Xi Emperor. From today onwards, we bow to the Xi Empress, Empress Ka Zi Tian, matriarch of the Ka clan, undisputed ruler of the Ka dynasty. Our contacts within the NCR's government will ensure that the NCR will leave us alone while they are busy with their own expansion policies to the east. Long live the Empire, we lose ooh, quite a bit of few stuff, and we have civil wars, we lose stability for quite a few weeks, and political power. Well, bad words. Alright, solidifying our power. Now that Xi'an and Liang have lost their legitimacy for leadership of the Xi, it's time we solidify our power. The Ka clan will become the royal family of the new empire, the Ka dynasty. Jewel and empire, achievements, goodbye achievements. Let's get some naval XP, thank you very much. We got 144 political power, which ain't too bad. Horus Kimball, you sound very Chinese, but hey, that's enough for me to judge, man. Whatever you're doing, you're doing a good job at it. We might have to beat up a couple guys over here, and let's take a look at our generals, or divisions, not too... Oh, some of you guys are actually really pretty green, huh? NCO troopers, huh? My apologies about sneeze, but uh, let's see. Someone says, oh, economic decisions, great, that we should save some focuses later on about uh, that regard or talk about developing provinces. So I guess we can save some of that for later. Pooling family resources, rebuilding factories, a new capital, not bad. Dealing with our enemies, dealing with the clan, the Ka clan, we should really say. And I've been doing a lot of technologies off screen, so it is what it is. We've actually got quite a few things done already, so yeehaw. Uh, actually, let's let time go on and do this one. Metalworking, nice. The rise of an empire. The Xi Emperor appears to have been nothing more than a supercomputer. It has no place ruling over Xi, the Xi anymore. Now marks the beginning of a new Chinese empire, a true empire like our ancestors. We shall rename San Fran to be Luoyang, one of the great ancient capitals of ancient China. From here we will recreate a new empire, one that will span across the wasteland, the rise of the dragon. Nice, Luoyang, very cool. Dealing with the clan, re reunite the Kai, Kai clan. Punish the non oilists. Ooh. Beaten to death. Wow. Expanding the empire. Ooh. Dealing with their enemies. Execute the think tank. Let's do that one first. Now that we write, now that we've established ourselves as the rulers of the Shi, we must deal with those who have wrongly attempted to contest their divine right to rule. Cool. Look at that peepee. -pee. We love that peepee. -pee. Uh, Chief of the Navy, we got the political power. More damage, which is kind of unique. Usually that's just a person that gives you more stuff to uh, 
build ships more, so or less production cost. But I think for this campaign as well, we're gonna go with energy weapons. I think that'd be very fitting for the she 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 she. Yeah, Von Graf, thank you very much. Next technology will be done in 10 days, marching fire, then we'll go and grab some uh, hit and run. Another comment from yesterday, I said, try out the intellectuals next time. Oh, uh, sure, that's fine with me. I'm totally okay with trying out the intellectuals sometime. I just want to make sure that, like, with each campaign we do, I want to fairly make sure that all the paths are available and can be completed, because sometimes some mods don't have all paths done, so just got to keep an eye out on what is done and what can be done in the future. So... We'll see what happens. Keep clicking on that one. Why do I keep clicking on that? And then execute the think tank, shall we? The researchers of Huang Ti Research Institute chose to oppose a rule. They will be punished greatly for their insolence. Which hurts our research speed, but hey, you know what? That is definitely a okay. And we've just executed the think tank. Let's uh, let's go ahead and see some advanced well equipment, shall we? Now that Sam Fran is under the rule of the dragon throne, all the advanced equipments that once belonged to the Huang Ti Research Institute are now under control, and they shall be put to better use serving the imperial military. Love it. We've got more political power, 1.26 every single day, so we got to talk about this. We can either spare nobody, or we could spare the neutral researchers. Well, when we get to the right side here, we gotta execute some Neokamis. We gotta get rid of some civilian workshops in Concord. But at the same time, we could execute Xi'an, or we can enslave her. Hmm. Now, which way do we want to go? Well, usually, I like getting more people. And finally, we can do plant cultivation. So, I'm feeling like, for this one, let's go ahead and get some more political power. It hurt her research speed, but we can make that up a little bit if we enslave her. Just, you know, we still get minus 2% research speed and we lose some more stability. But what is stability when we get all sorts of political power? So let's spare nobody. No one, despite their uses, will be spared from the wrath of the Dragon Throne after they chose to oppose it. All will face the wrath of the Dragon. Which would be a very, very good thing. But I do want to let you know or ask you guys, what do you think would be a good agency name for us? For the Shi, or we were the Shi, really, but the Kai Dynasty. What should our name, or intellectual ability, intellectual agency name should be? Please, let me know in that there comment section there below. But following this, let's see, rebuilding factories, not bad, not bad. I think since we're sparing nobody, and we're enslaving Xi'an, it sounds like we should probably punch the non-loyalists. Or do we reunite the Kai clan? We do not need civil war to tear up our own family as well. Ah, uh, soft-hearted, huh? Hmm. I don't think about that one. Do we want people back with us or nah? Uh, let's grab some more steam powered extraction because that's usually pretty good to do eventually. Yeah, that's still going. Very nice. Well, hmm. Two likes in two lifetimes. Goodbye. We want to expand the, the empire. Beaten to death. Disgraced and disowned. Hmm. Dealing with the clan, though. Now that the Civil War is over, and we still have to deal with this, deal with this, our own loyalty problems with the clan. Some of our family members appear to not have aided us in our battle. Some have even blatantly aided our enemies instead. We need to address this most serious issue. Very much so. No one is spared, though. And luckily, we have caps, so we can do this. Very good. And we like to make a few more divisions. Oh, we have a electricity. Look at that. Nice. Go right ahead, but he can. I'm making the navy just because we might eventually need to uh, naval invade other places. But then again, it is already 2279 June, so we'll see. Uh, how much manpower do we get a month? 18? Not bad. Just not great. Hmm. A little bit of money. Yeah, we can invest some stimulus in there. How, how big is the uh, base here? Six? Oh, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Could be a little better, but that's all right. And Culture Advisor, as much as I want to do this one, I don't like hurting my stability too much, so we'll go with Kai Clan Industrialist. So, deal with the clan. I think for now, restructure the clan. I don't want to lose political power. I'm not sure which one's better. Let's punish the non loyalists, shall we? Those that have not shown loyalty to the family are not worthy of being part of the clan. They, will ha they have disgraced themselves as cowards. They will pay, of course, for the cowardice. And they better. They must. They have to. Dealing with the Kai Clan. Uh, during the Civil War. Some of our family members do not support our war efforts and have remained neutral during the conflict. Others have even helped the people in the neo-communist territories. While their defense is that they were simply helping civilians, it is up to the Kai clan and truck on how they'd be dealt with. Mend the wounds? They're going to pay for their insolence. 
disgraced and disowned. Let all within the Empire know that by decree of the Empress and Kai clan matriarch, all those who have not shown loyalty during the Civil War are nothing but disgraceful, shameful cowards. They are no longer considered to be part of the Kai clan and no longer bear the name of Kai. And we just got rid of a lot of people, so that a lot of the people we got was a waste of political power. Oh, well, Lucas Frey, counterintelligence, why not? Alfred, get us in here. All right, so what can we choose? Ah, ah, I see. We lose money, we could have chosen this one. Oh, well, it is what it is. More construction speed, shall we? And what else? Well, more resource efficiency gain and resources to market? I guess so. Oh, uh, we had that one person. That person. Oh, crud, we can only choose that one now. Eh, whatever. What is stability? Who needs stability, right? Let's see. Walking tanks? Nice. Disgrace and disown, beaten to death. Let us give one final lesson to the cowards. By order of the Empress, all those who once bared the name Kai are now but labeled as cowards and are beaten with sticks in the streets by every commoner who sees them. If the commoner does not beat the coward, he shall be beaten twice as hard. <sighs> Just whack me with those sticks. Hmm. Oh, steam powered extraction, very good. Alright, maybe we should improve our guns. Let's go with basic laser weaponry. I feel like as any sort of like Xi or Chinese faction here, we kind of have to go with uh, this route, so with energy weapons, so. Mm -hmm. Ship canoes. I'm just going to get and fill everything else out here that we have. Tanks. If we ever get tanks, that'd be kind of nice. If we're using tanks, we're using APCs, so. Uh, that's 10% tank technology research speed. I think there's more things for APCs than tanks. I could be wrong, but I'm going to go with. Angry Tankerinos. Nice. Still get about 16 every month. Oh, we could be making more divisions. We're trying to make some special forces. But at the same time, these guys are okay. Riders. I don't even want to know what those guys are about. Uh, let's get rid of those guys, actually. I want to throw more special forces if we can. Can we? Yes, thank you. Well, we don't have the armor speed for the rest. Okay. Um, SCO troopers are not bad. 20 combat width are pretty darn decent. New Reno mercs are okay. They're 10 combat width, and these guys are 10 combat width, so SCO troopers are where it's at. Very nice. Thank you. Nice. Just beating former family members to death. Execute the Neo Commies, shall we? The new economy is nothing but an insane anarchist. They will be treated as such. As criminals and scum, all those who have found been found aligned to the neo-communists will be executed. We're just kind of holding true to our word here. Nah, it's complicated. Secretary's pretty darn good. What else? We might just want to save some political power here, too. Brain drain kind of hurts us. As well as a reversible, irreversible brain drain. Oh, yeah. Father's influence. Cool. And technology is coming along. We're trying to build up some more civvies here and some infrastructure, which would be pretty darn nice. At this point, can I just like put you here? Where is it? Reserve fleet, maybe? I don't know. I never know the full maybe how that operates fully yet, but how will we be pulling some family resources? Now 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 that the Civil War is over, we should pull together what resources we still have left at our disposal to help fix and restore Luo Yang to be a capital city. Worthy of the Empire. We get a lot more infrastructure, which I love, 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 love some infrastructure. I probably, honestly, love it too much. Oh, let's send some many prospectors, too. We're going to need more money. Yeah, we're definitely going to need some more money. I'm going to do all these focuses before we get down to expanding the Empire, because that's pretty much all we have for now. Good. And, there we go. Cool. We got nine days left. Uh, actually, after energy weapons, which we'll get done, crowd control gear would be pretty good. We probably want to get some more breakthrough for our infantry. <clears throat> That'd probably be good. Hmm. Hmm. We also have five armor XP too now, huh? Not bad. Type 17 pistols to energy weapons, not bad. Rebuilding some factories, because we could do some more arms workshops and civilian workshops. The war destroyed many factories and workshops across our lands. Perhaps it would be best if we were to restore some of them to working condition to be full, fueling the economy of the Empire. Sounds like a pretty good idea, but another spy. Linguist, smooth doctor, smooth doctor, and terrifying presence. I like that one. Seems like some people have some uh, operatives here, huh? That's not good for us. A? Eh? At two, Brutus? At two? Or E2? Hmm. Uh, 20.34, dismantle stuff, renos, no, not really anything. Alright, let's rebuild some factories, because we can use those civvies and some armies. We can use some more stability, too. Oof. But that's alright. Alright, so we got these guys here. 
Well, with our army, y'all should really become NCR troopers, even though we don't really care for the NCR too much. Riders will be important later on. What are we missing here? The guns are looking good. That's good. That's not bad. That's not great. We need some demo teams. Hey, walking tanks are nice. Uh, purity is cool and all. Well, technically, we want to be as pure as possible for the family, but we're under principle, probably. I'm going to go principle. We're a principled nation of she members. Of Kai members. A principled family. And you guys are all 20 cavalry with. Nice. Beautiful. Actually, do we have down white? I forget. I keep forgetting. Dinamite here? No. Do I have it research? No. I should probably research that. Man, when we start coring stuff, we're going to have so much political power. But a new capital, shall we? Luo Yang will become a shining metropolis that will be part of a new empire. Luo Yang, much like its ancient Chinese counterpart, will become a great capital city, one that will be remembered by the history books. Well, let's hope so. Let's really hope so. Hmm. All right, if that's the case, the locks of my eyes. Goodbye, the lock. Just go and convert everyone to NCR troopers. That's fine. I don't care. Nice. New capital. And after new capital, we're going to go and do Scorched Earth. Despite their official surrender, the neo-communists continue to wage brutal guerrilla warfare from the ruins of Concord, striking at our forces and hiding into the shadows. Let us teach them one final lesson as we level our last remains of neo-communist-controlled Concord to the ground. And then we'll probably, as much as I want to execute her, getting, that's honestly probably better than enslaving her, but it is what it is. Ah, sport technology, nice. I, I, I like that extra research to help us offset some of our deficiencies, we might say. Complicated circuitry will probably replace with long range of radio. Up and happy 2280, everyone. We're already pretty far in the campaign, or at least time wise. Guerrilla tactics, common energy weapons. Uh, uh, we can do that one. Let's go get some armor hardening. That'll probably be pretty decent, right? Nice. We got a lot of political power. Uh, we could use more money, really. Political bribes. But, Scorched Earth, my friends. Cha-ching. Uh, maybe some oversights needed for that. We lose two civilian workshops, even though we just got like three. Oh, no, we got two. So we basically gain nothing about that. And then enslave Xi'an. Xi'an is a talented researcher and a well-versed person in the biological sciences. All we need to do is detach a slave collar to her neck to ensure that she will comply in working with us. She may resent us, but we ask her, or ask not for her love, but her fear. Hmm. Fun times. Keep building us up, guys. You're doing a great, great job, especially as you keep... Ooh, actually, how much... How, how much are they? Oh, look, 47% almost done. Not bad. Man, my desk creaks a lot. Wow. All right. Oh, five. Nice. Keep doing what you're doing, guys. Skill, not very good, but that's okay. I doubt he has any upgrades. Yeah, he has no upgrades. Okay. We tried. Scorched Earth after Scorched Earth. We got Enslave. And then what are we doing for this? Nothing here. What? No, 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 no. We should probably some, do some defensive stuff here, too. Ironmongers are gone. Goodbye, Ironmongers. We're looking really good with all the stuff. Like, I need to research Dynamite next. That is definitely something we got to do next. And actually, you know what? Both of you... Get out of here. There you go. We can afford another general, can we? Scorched Earth. And Slaver. Ambrose Wright. Very po good part of the Kai clan here. Um, Ninja. Yeah, I'll probably go with Ninja. There you go. There you go. Brain Drain is gone, so we can research things a little bit faster. We probably want to mobilize a little bit more, because we're already at 10%. Hmm. But after that, we've got to be expanding the empire, you know. With the rule over the people of the Xi now you solidify, we need to look outward to, to expand our empire. Let us look at our borders to to who we next we shall bring into the fold. We complete the Brotherhood of Steel Focus. I don't see Brotherhood of Steel Focus here. Um, Lone Star, all right, good luck. Actually, I've been doing some of this too. Medical technology bonus is not bad at all. Actually, we might want to really consider doing that. 150. Yeah, we could use more money. We could really use some more money. Hmm. Nice. Who needed stability, my friends? Not needed here. Minus 50% factory output. Wow. Nope, no occupied territories here. Oh, we're on caravan guards. Well, that's not good. 
Uh, I'll waste some pacification. Militia is good enough for now. Do we have? No, we don't. We have no controls. No. Yeah, we need more technology stuff done. Hmm. But I'm interested in seeing what's happening after this one. And to elites looking pretty good. Desperados are having a good old time. We could go to here. Starting level new army leaders would be pretty good to have. Maximum command power increases is not bad, but we lose so much political power. Ah, eh, go and do it. Why not? Watch out for spees. And now we only get 0.99. That kind of sucks. But hey, at least we get up to 125. It's not bad. Not bad. Look at that. Enslaved? Ah, absolutely. How's the world looking here? Legion's doing stuff. Jackson Brotherhood. The last patrol's doing a pretty good job. Desperados, Alamo Chapter. Actually, Alamo Chapter. What do you like right here? Uh, Catherine Turney. I need to try them out sometime, too. So, Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, we need to look at that soon. Please for help, huh? Oh, wow. Look at that. Uh, if you like to read about this, please go right ahead. Kai Clan Dragoons, Lightning Dragoons, Armor Dragoons, Heavier Cannons, Improved Motors. Ooh, motorized stuff. Psychological Warfare, less stability for them. The Drums of War, even less stability and stuff. War Sport, Chinese Symbols, The March of War. Uh, Imperial War Factory, so I'll do that one. If we were to do battle against the Paladins and the Scribes of the Brotherhood, we require more weapons for our men. We will need to establish more war factories to produce weapons for the Empire. Nice. Hopefully there's stability along the way that we can grab too. Help settlements? Yeah, that'd be nice. Nice. Let's grab some of this. Warrior code's pretty good. Long range radio. We're gonna replace it with some side uh, some miniature circuitry. And then we're probably gonna grab some pulse code not no, let's grab some rapid prototyping, because we want to output more, even though we're doing really, really well. And I know I said we need to get dynamite, and we'll get there eventually. I wish there's I hope there's a way we can get like 40 combat. 40 combat with four research slots. I really hope there's a way. Hiring NCR contractors. It's not bad. Expanding the workshops. Gun runners. Van Graaf aid. Crimson Care. Van Dragos. Acquiring Brotherhood aid. Unless defector aid. Research. Uh, get a lot more research speed. Um, there's not really a lot here, honestly. Uh, that's not good. Maybe we'll just be exploring their Brotherhood aid. The Brotherhood still thinks of us as elusive technocrats like them. Perhaps we can exploit these feelings to our advantage and learn things from them. That'd probably be a good thing to do. Alright, let's grab some of that. That'd be kind of nice. Cool. Family stipends. More family oh, I guess just slightly more population. Well, that caps expenses. National Guard mothballed. Caps expenses goes way down. Eh, it's not really that great. I haven't tried a campaign going down there yet, though. Contact loss. That's not good. Sydney rescue team. Good. Thank goodness we found them. How strong is the Brotherhood right now? They don't have a lot of manpower, but they got a buttload of divisions. We definitely would need some anti tank fighting them off. We actually might be able to do okay if that's their entire army, but obviously that's not. Hmm. Nah, so all our soldiers should be this. And they do already have anti-tank. We want some want some field hospitals though too. Yeah, hmm. Trust. Energy weapons. Watch for spies. Hmm. Well, how about psychological warfare? Against the Brotherhood, we face a significant technological disadvantage. Now that most of our knowledge was lost during the confusion of the Civil War, we need to still wage a different type of war to balance out the odds. Which we get some more war support, but they lose some stability, which isn't bad. Ah, uh, boosted research efforts for 5%, not bad. We could probably use that extra manpower, though. Yeah. Stonks? Nice. Use that money. Go and do that. There's no there's no downside doing that, so. Motorized. Motorized is nice and all, but... I prefer the armored stuff, I'll be honest. I kind of do prefer it. Unless defector aid. There are many intelli intelligent members of the Brotherhood that do not agree with the Brotherhood's ideals. Perhaps we can convince some of them to work for us instead, and for three months we get a little bit faster research boost Reno. Not bad, not bad. I guess really, we need to throw another general here too. Joseph Armistead? Hello, Joseph. And you're going to be Mr. Infantry, so... Ninja. For now. 
and probably gun them. Just because I'm throwing you out of here. Nice. Good. Oh, we can't do this one yet. Oh, we complete psychological. Wait. Has not completed. Wait, oh, what? Wait, what? What? Oh, so we ha can take that one. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. What the heck? Oh, well, my bad. I didn't realize that we wouldn't be able to do this. Okay, I don't like that then. <laughs> All right, well, whatever. Expanding the workshops. Yeah, I could probably use that. More manpower. Um, Kai Clan Dragoons then. During the ancient times of our ancestors in China, about a military unit and tactical was the use of heavy cavalry to make decisive blows against the enemy. While these horse creatures mentioned in the archives are still long dead, the motorized vehicles left behind from the old world make them great substitutes. You know what I'm going to do? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do this back and do it off screen. So we read that one. Understanding Brotherhood's secrets. The Brotherhood possesses many technological secrets from the old world. Perhaps with the aid of some defectors, we can learn some of these secrets for ourselves. As well as exploiting their trust. The Brotherhood trusts us to be our own society of elusive and enigmatic technocrats. Perhaps we can exploit this trust to learn our advantage and learn some secrets from them through diplomacy and understanding Brotherhood PA schematics. The greatest symbol of the Brotherhood is a powerful power armor. Perhaps we could acquire some insight on the secrets of these powerful suits of armor. And the Brotherhood has a fantastic devotion to their old world technology and especially their laser weapons. Perhaps we can purchase a few of these weapons from them and learn about their from their designs so that we may make laser weapons of our own. All right, everyone, and so we're back. So I went back and did all this stuff. We've done psychological warfare already, but we've done a few NCR focuses as well, like hiring NCR contractors. We'll need more men in workshops to keep our economy growing. Perhaps we can hire some from the NCR. There ought to be a few optimistic men looking to make themselves useful lying around to get some more construction speed. Old World Blues, that kind of sucks. But we've also done expand the workshops. If we're to challenge Brotherhood, we're going to need to further expand our industrial capacity. We're going to need more workshops capable of producing and building new factories and forts for us when we need it, as well as buying gunrunner help. The gunrunners are well known for making top quality guns for the NCR military. Perhaps we can buy some of that top quality aid for ourselves as well. We're currently doing building more gun factories. Guns, guns, guns. <sighs> American dream. But our armies continue to demand for more guns and firepower to equip themselves with as they prepare for battle against the Brotherhood, perhaps we should build more workshops and factories to fulfill this ever-growing demand. And let's see, Von Van Graaff aid might not be bad, because I'd like to get through all this stuff before I actually do the March of War, just because I think that makes the most sense. Oh, cool. The Van Graaffs are well known for producing high-quality energy weapons. Perhaps we can buy some aid from them as well. Their weapons will ensure that they are well-equipped and well-matched against Brotherhood forces when we butt heads in battle. Nice. And we got a lot of this stuff done too. And actually, what we're building up right now. Ooh, military factories. Ooh, yeah, we got more dynamite, which is pretty darn nice. Actually, we got quite a few gliders as well. Uh, I'll keep it there. We got to still build a lot of energy weapons, though. That'd still be pretty good. I've deployed a lot of planes, if you see right here. A lot of planes. We train a lot of these guys as well. One, two. Uh, actually, make sure we all do. There you go. There goes White Legs New Canaan. Good job, guys. Killing each other off. We obviously don't have a lot of manpower, but that's all right. We'll find a way to get more manpower somehow, some way. Hopefully. So that should be pretty good for us. Van Graaff Aid, we're doing some of this stuff as well. And, yeah, we'll, we'll raise up the conscription level to service and zero dismissal when it's January in about five months. Not bad. Uh, anything else that happened off screen? Legion and the NCR are killing each other right now, which is totally okay with me. Uh, what else is going on? So, yeah. The Kai Dynasty. Not too bad. So, let's see. The Crimson Caravan trade deals. Crimson Caravan is always hungry for ways to inflate their bottom line. Perhaps for the right price, they can be encouraged to bring us more resources for our factories, hiring NCR workers. Our factories are in constant need for more hands and manpower to keep up with demand. Perhaps we can hire workers from the NCR, which will allow us to free up more men that can be sent to the front lines instead. In addition, we'll probably end up doing some more ooh, intellectual stuff or intelligence stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one. Uh, let's get some more manpower. Manpower is always good, right? Cool. And... Oh, some irrigation is done as well. How about we grab some industrial fertilizer? And white legs, crazy horns. We'll probably, off screen, I'll probably just keep pushing this a little bit ahead of time. But the Kai Clan Dragoons. During the ancient times of our ancestors in China, a vital military unit and tactic was the use of cavalry to make decisive blows against the enemy. While these horse creatures mentioned in the archives are long dead, the motorized vehicles left behind from the old world make great substitutes. So, we can either do lightning dragons, or dragoons, or truck technology. Alright, well... There's motorized engines as well as Kai Dragoon companies, natural disasters, uh, pursuit, worth saving, nice. Oh, look at that, more stability. Yeah, we actually have stability. No, we don't. Oh, well, actually, we do, just a little bit. 
or we can do Dragoon Roar Factories as well as Heavier Cannons. I think I'm going to go choose Armored Dragoon. So, let the enemy f futilely fire at our vehicles as they charge forward at them. They will not be able to harm us with our thick plated armor vehicles and Dragoon War Factories. We'll need more factories if we are to supply our army with sufficient vehicles to form our Dragoon Corps. We'll need to establish new factories to turn out these vehicles of war. Which will be a great thing. Let's get some Triplane Attackers because I love, love, love me some Triplane Attackers. Very, very good. That's almost done. How's intellectual... I keep saying intellectual. Intelligence agencies doing. Not bad as we're watching the NCR kind of get demolished from the Legion. And then after that... Oh, do that one already, and then we'll do heavier cannons. We need to, we will need to arm vehicles with better cannons and weapons if they are to be more efficient in killing and maiming our enemies on the front lines. Now, it feels like we're just a little bit behind here in terms of just doing stuff because the war took so long against the other factions. But we finished our land auction, which is mighty, mighty good. We'll get, get dog goggles. Let's get some better stim pack stuff, arenos. That'd be pretty nice. And we'll also probably do the drums of war. Let us beat the drums of war each night. Let their booming voice noises echo throughout the night. Let every brotherhood soldier learn to fear and dread the sound of our war drums. And we'll probably do dr dragon roars. The golden dragon has licked its wounds after the civil war and is ready to do battle once more. Let our foes know this fact well. Let us unleash great howls of battle cries into the night. Uh, let them know that we are ready to do war and Chinese symbols. Let us further reinforce the idea of an, uh, our empire. The symbol of our empire will be the language of our ancestors and their ancient enemies. From now on, the language of the empire is Chinese and all documents will be written in it. Let the Brotherhood spies who spy on us learn to fear these characters as they scramble to try and find a way to understand it. As well as, we'll probably do just start this one as well, but the March of War. Rally the men, ready your vehicles, today marks the invasion of the Brotherhood. <clears throat> The sound of our men marching across the wasteland and into the Brotherhood will strike fear to all those who oppose us. Very nice. But I think I'm just going to end the episode here because I must attend to other things. So if you enjoyed this unusually shorter episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Uh, I, and I will be building up a lot of factories as we're doing all of our focuses and having a good time until we go to war. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.